morning guys welcome back to my channel so today is another day in the life there's a smudge on the camera today Brindley has school and I'm gonna hang out with Rowan I was gonna drop him off at my mom so I can work but I don't have supplies um, to do orders for Ray baby which is my Etsy shop if you guys don't know um, and I try to drop him off you took a bite good girl um, she's eating and she's takes forever to eat it's literally like a whole thing in itself to get her to finish her food but don't show everyone your food that's icky but it's gonna be a good day i don't have much plan i was like i said gonna drop rowan off to do some work because the hurricane supplies is delayed so i don't have supplies to do any orders so we also have a family photo shoot on thursday it's our first family photo shoot and i still don't have like an outfit or yeah, essentially an outfit for Steven, so I may go to the mall. I don't know. I don't know what the day entails, but just thought I'd vlog today. Brindley, are you going to go to school? Yeah, go out of the house. And then home? Yeah, the home. I love you. So, anyways, we're just enjoying the weather. Get down. We're just enjoying the weather. It's in the 60s right now, and it feels so nice. I know it's going to get hot later, but I'm just enjoying it because if you live in Florida, you know the 60s is rare and for a short amount of time. So, and then I'm going to get Brinley ready to go to school. Are you going to say good morning? Nya, nya, nya. Your turn? No. Okay, say hi. Hi. So, I thought I didn't bring my camera, but I brought it. We are... Show them what you got, Bryn. What is that? A chocolate one? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. We are now at Brinley's school. I left a little earlier than usual. I also left Rowan to nap because he woke up super early this morning. So I put him down to nap. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Steven is home with him. Well, he's working, but he's, you know, home in the house with him. But anyways, um, I got creamer yesterday when I got groceries and it was literally disgusting. Cake pop. Cake pop. I love pop. You like the cake pop? Um, and so it was gross and I didn't have coffee and I woke up so tired So we stopped at Starbucks and I got Stephen a coffee too And then Brinley of course asked for a cake pop Except this time she asked to see the menu and she chose a chocolate one which she's never had But we are just hanging out in the car We still have 10 minutes before school starts So we're just gonna hang out have some quality time And I'm gonna enjoy my coffee And I want to share my Starbucks order because I have been struggling lately to find something I like at Starbucks I just feel like everything is just so like repetitive and nothing's been delightful recently so um i found this on my explore page on instagram and it's actually really good it's a grande well you can get it any size but it's pretty much a vanilla sweet cream cold brew and then you just add pumpkin sauce definitely recommend but yeah we're just gonna hang out right Bryn? okay make sure you don't get chocolate on your shirt because you have to go to school okay be very careful do you like the chocolate one or the vanilla you like the chocolate one? Yeah. It's so yummy. Are you going to have fun at school? Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Also, guys, next week I leave for Nashville for a bachelorette trip for one of my friends. It's a wedding I'm in. And I have been so excited up until this point because I've never gone on a girl's trip since having kids, especially like on a plane ride girl's type of trip. So I've been so freaking excited. I've also like, I know this is super vain, but like I've just, I'm so excited to just like, I feel like this year I really found myself and I've been really taking care of myself. And you know, like I feel like I got lost in motherhood for a bit. And then like this year, just I really focused on, you know, finding myself and taking care of myself, if that makes sense. And I, this is the most confident I've ever felt in a really long time. So I've just been so ready to like go on a girl's trip. Like that's like the ultimate way to celebrate like, feeling confident and just like finding yourself I don't know if this makes sense but anyways I've been so excited up until like this week knowing it's next week I'm getting so nervous actually I wouldn't say the word nervous I'm not nervous I'm getting so anxious of leaving my kids and it's not nervous that they're gonna be taken care of well taken care of like Steven took off Thursday and Friday he's gonna be with them Saturday and Sunday so like he took off work Steven knows their schedule like the back of his hand like he knows it more than me sometimes, honestly. So anyways, that's not the problem. The problem is I'm just gonna miss them. So I'm anxious of leaving them. And I don't know, I've never done that before. So I'm just like, ooh, 
I don't know. I'm so like sad. It's for four days, but really I'll see them Sunday, so it's like three and a half days, but it's gonna be weird leaving both of my kids for the first time for that amount of time. So there's a car pulling up and they're gonna judge me. Yeah, I'm getting so anxious, but I know it's gonna be worth it and it's gonna be so important for my mental health, honestly, just to have a little break from being a mom robot. But yeah, I'm gonna miss you. Are you gonna miss mommy? Who do you wanna stay with, mommy or daddy? Mama, baby, dada. All of us? Oh! Did you finish your cake, Pop? <laughs> oh, wow. I know it's gonna be fun and it's gonna be worth it. I'm just nervous, but... With that being said, I'm getting my hair done tomorrow for it. And I'm leaving on my birthday, so I'm getting it for my birthday. So maybe I'll bring you guys along for that too tomorrow and just like extend the vlog. I'm back now from dropping Brindley off and it seems like I came and sat in the same spot, but I didn't. I'm just enjoying this outside weather, but... Um, I got the diaper bag packed for Rowan. He's currently sleeping still. I'm about to wake him up because I decided I'm going to go to the mall um, with him to see if I can find a shirt for Steven um, for our family photo shoot. That's in two days. I haven't eaten anything. It's 11, so I just quickly made an avocado toast because I don't want to leave the house on an empty stomach. Hopefully, we find something because I went to the mall with my friend this weekend. And when you're looking for stuff, I feel like there's nothing. Am I right? I just woke Mr. Rowie up. Easy hi. I feel like he always wakes up in a better mood if we wake him up versus him waking up on his own, which usually is never the case with kids. Look at that handsome boy. Boop. <laughs> Did you have a good sleep? So I already have the diaper bag packed, like I said. I ate my sandwich and I already have everything in the car. I am gonna get him a snack so that he's not unhappy in the car. So I'm gonna get him a little applesauce pouch and we're ready to go, aren't we? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Ready to go, bud? You ready? Okay. Do you want me to open the applesauce? Do you want me to open? Just me and you and little mommy Sunday. Yeah. Do you want me to open? Let me open. Here you go. You want this? Here you go. You ready? You ready to rumble? Okay, why do I always like, I feel like I'm the most indecisive person. I'm like, should I go? Should I stay? Should I work? What should I do? Why is this out? Oh. I literally am the world's most indecisive person. Maybe it's a Libra in me, probably is. But like if I make a decision, I'm always gonna doubt it. And now I'm like, got everything ready and I'm still like, should I go to the mall? But I'm just not gonna think about it and I'm just gonna do it. So here we go. <laughs> I'm back home now from picking up Brindley up from school. I'm actually gonna close the hallway door because I want them to hear me. Both kids are down for a nap. We went to the mall and then I came home, dropped Rowan off because he fell asleep in the car and then I quickly left to go pick Brindley up. Now I'm back home. The mall was like a win slash fail. I got some stuff, but I don't know if it's gonna work out for the photo shoot. Now I need to cook dinner because it's almost three o'clock and we leave at 4.15 to the gym. We, I always like, cook dinner beforehand so that when we get back we can eat because if I cook when I get back we won't eat till like 6 and the kids are starving. <laughs>
dinner is now served. It's in here, if you can see it. It's pretty much called sausage and gnocchi. I got the recipe from the boy I used to nanny. His parents always made it and I asked the mom one day. It's pretty much just Italian sausage and that comes in the casing and I just like make little balls, like meatballs out of it. So I just brown that, salt, pepper, garlic powder with onion. I just brown it in the skillet, cut up cherry tomatoes, cut up basil and cook gnocchi, like boil it and then add it, mix it all together, boom, done. It's the easiest dinner. It's a family favorite in our household. I feel like I've mentioned this so many times. I've always talked about this, but that's what's for dinner tonight. And then I clean the kitchen, got my rag sterilizing on the drying rack, which I wanted to talk to you guys about. Thank you, Luna Square, for sponsoring today's video. This thing honestly has been awesome and a lifesaver. If you guys don't know, I always use rags. I've never used um, paper towels to wipe down my counters. I just feel like the rag cleans better and the paper towels just like, I have to go through like half a roll in order to clean the whole kitchen. And if you guys didn't know, dishcloths are actually one of the main causes of food poisoning at home due to difficulties in washing it properly after each use and then if you use disposable paper like paper towels it leads to pollution so this uv sterilizing drying rack solves both problems and it's so nice because i've always used washcloths like i said i've never really used paper towels i know that washcloths can always get moldy and they start to smell moldy and i have a whole drawer of them right here and i constantly have to do laundry and rotate them and this is awesome because it dries it so that it can be dry for the next use after the next meal as well as it sterilizes it so it kills all germs so nice because it has a modern sleek look to it so it's not like an eyesore in the kitchen it's pretty compact and you can also tuck it away sideways so it doesn't go through too much of the counter space in your kitchen but it's awesome because now whenever i use the dishcloth again it will be super dry and it will be sterilized and germ free which is awesome it can be used in offices libraries your house wherever you want because it is a low in noise and it's super quiet the wind power can be controlled also a dial airflow control button at the bottom there's an on and off button switch on the outlet back there and you can also just again tuck it away yeah, we have been actually really enjoying this it's super nice because usually i have my dishcloth like laying here and when i use it the next time when i'm cooking it's all wet still and it starts to smell so i'm like this solves all my problems so i'm gonna have a link to this down below if you guys are interested and you can check it out and shop it down in the description box but now I'm gonna go in the office I have about an hour before we leave to the gym both kids are still sleeping So I'm gonna go in the office do some orders and wake up and head to the gym. Hello guys Welcome back to my channel. Do you notice a difference? I cut I mean, it's not like a huge difference, but I cut off two inches I added layers and I dyed it I got my hair appointment done yesterday and I started the vlog and then I literally completely forgot to finish the vlog so here we are, it's the next morning, not the next morning, but the following morning. Um, it's Thursday, so Brinley has school again, but today we're getting family photos done, which I'm so nervous about because we've never done this with both toddlers, so it could go, as you know if you guys have done this, terribly wrong. So I'm gonna go to Target before dropping Brinley off to get just goodies and candies and all that good stuff just to keep them bribed up for them to look at the camera. So that's what we're gonna do this morning. Also, I curled her hair already because um, when she comes back from school, she's gonna take a nap and then right when she wakes up, we're gonna leave So her hair will already be done. So I have to show you guys her I gave her a show in order for me to let her curl her hair But Brindley show everyone your hair <gasps> Wow, you look so pretty a say cheese A butterfly? Yeah, so um, we're gonna head out in a bit I'm gonna pack the diaper bag and then I'm also I love to A butterfly? Yeah Oh, you're on Instagram. Don't post anything. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? I am super excited for the photos because, again, we've never had them done. But, yeah, also, it's funny because I just got my hair done and then I got a comment on my last vlog or something. Was like, someone was like, I love your highlights. And I'm like, well, now they're gone. But I think this just fits me so much more, like, naturally. I don't know. I feel like the blonde with my eyebrows, it was just, I mean, I like it, but I just wanted to switch it up. So, let's get the diaper bag packed, boy. You say hi! <laughs> Guys, 
here we are again another day and literally forgot to continue vlogging what happened what'd you do you put stickers on your plate wow super cool um don't know what you said i'm currently editing the video that you guys are watching and i was like wow i literally never finished vlogging what was even yesterday we did have the family photos i feel like it was super chaotic and it was at the beach so there was like sand everywhere and the wind was blowing our hair in the opposite direction that it was supposed to go the girl was like oh your kids did so good and i'm like i mean if you say so because i thought it was pretty chaotic so i'm like i don't even know if we're gonna i mean she did send us four previews and they are phenomenal but my hair in them like i had to, i had to like tuck my hair behind my ear in order for it to not get so i'm like i didn't love that about my look but i mean it's it should be good but Today's now Friday. Last you guys saw, I dropped her off at school and then I went to Kohl's with my friend and it was so insane. Rowan was like screaming, crying the whole time. I came back and I just had to get orders done and then, what was yesterday? Oh, and then we did the family photos. So, um, it's been a pretty super busy week, but I'm gonna now prepare to leave the kids in less than a week which i'm so sad about but anyways it should be good i'm gonna end the video here now though don't forget to check out the uv drying rack and i'll have a link in the description and bye. i will see you in my next one brinley say bye guys, bye, guys. <laughs> say bye, bye.